Howdy folks, today we're going to be talking about the Cooper SRH77A temperature and humidity digital instrument. Let's go ahead and hop into it. <clears throat> so right off the bat, we can see big old screen. Let's turn it on. And before I jump into that, I'm going to tell you, uh, Cooper makes two different models just like this, pretty identical. One is a red case Cooper. It's also an SRH, but I don't remember exact. It's not a 77A, but it's something like it. It's a Cooper SRH something in a red case. And it does everything that this one does besides reads humidity. Um, so both these come with the red case and the blue case both come with a probe and a strap. And I'm in the HVAC world, so I've used these quite a bit the red case and the blue case i just like the blue case better because obviously you can test humidity you stick it in a duct you can stick you know your temperature probe in a duct you can read humidity temperature whatever you want i like it they're really nice um, i've also used other styles like <clears throat> regular oh i think uei makes one with a uh kind of a strap deal like this a clamp i know testo i've used testo clamps for pipe straps and stuff uh, they all work pretty good. Um, the cords sometimes on this Cooper can get like stringing out cords um, can be a pain, but it's also pretty nice. Um, you don't have to Bluetooth. You don't have to do anything fancy like that. You know, when your phone's dead, how are you going to test if you have a Bluetooth testo, something like that? As an example, that's why I'm saying I like these things. You know, they work every time. Uses a nine volt battery um pretty common deal so um let's go into it so right here like i said we have our temperature probe let's go ahead and plug her in port one we are reading out here in the shed right now 50 degrees let's go ahead and plug in our pipe strap to port number two so, port number two, temp two, let's click it. 51 degrees. All right, now let's imagine that I had two pipe straps here, one pipe strap in port one and one in port two, just like I got right here on this side. And I wanna read, you know, subcool and superheat. So with this, imagine I had two pipe straps and I got one on the suction line, one on the liquid line. Pretty easy, you know, I'm looking at my gauges Temp one, okay, suction line, wow, 50 degrees. You know, liquid line, 51 degrees. Obviously, our metering device is not working too well at this point, but that's an example. Like I said, I'm in the HVAC world, so it's pretty, pretty easy to relate, kind of some terms like that. So why don't we go ahead and plug in our uh, relative humidity. Um, probe quick i'll show you how it works <laughs> on the top here it's got a little arrow so that needs to be on the top side when we plug it in get it here pretty tight fit and little deal sturdy let's call it sturdy let's come up here 47 percent humidity that's what we're reading here on this one now i'm gonna breathe on the probe real quick um, let's see what she comes up to. So she comes up. She comes up pretty quick. It's pretty accurate. Um, here, I'll give you another example here quick. These things do climb, and they do get to where your temperature's at real quick. So let's plug in my <coughs> probe quick again. Go back to temp one. I just plugged my probe into temp one here. And I just made myself a little mixy drinky. I got a little vodka in there and some Mountain Dew. Let's stick it in there and see what she does. Oh, she's cold. Cold. We'll mix her up a little bit. 
So you can see how fast that response is and that cup of liquid. That's what I wanted to show you. Um, pretty neat little deal. You know, if you're out there working late at night, you know, you're on call. Let's see what our backlight does. Can't see it in this light very well, but it does have a backlight, a red backlight in it. <laughs> you can see. Um, my air turned that off. Um, pretty neat little deal. Thought I'd give you a video on it. I have not seen any other videos on YouTube about uh, the Cooper case temperature probes at all. Um, the blue or the red case. Nothing on YouTube that I saw. So I thought I'd do y'all uh, a solid and post my two cents on it and kind of give you a walk around. It's a pretty solid case too and everything. So nice handle deal everything so that's what i know guys thanks for listening